Los Santos, a city in GTA notorious for its high crime and danger. So you might imagine working in these conditions are not really ideal. Some jobs may be more dangerous than others. Today, I'll be going over the top 10 most dangerous jobs in GTA 5. Right off the bat, we got the airport security guard. Now these people often serve as an obstacle. Always in the way, annoying. I mean, there was no reason for that, but it happens. But most people blow up these guys because why the f*** on? All these guards do is run their yapper. Then they act tough and, you know, they think they run the sh He's hitting me with this stick because I just stood in front of him. So out of all that, uh, come to the conclusion, his job's just not safe. Never was, never will be. Coming at you is your tip of the day. Yeah, there's security booth. Just climb right in through that window and you cannot die. And you can shoot out of it, so it's great for farming stars. Number nine, paramedics and firefighters. Job's dangerous every single single day. It's really just do the normal gameplay. You know, nothing personal here. Except that's a load of bullshit. Because let's turn our focus to the paramedics. From afar, it looks like they're doing their job pretty well. Let's get another camera angle. Not sure what they're doing. I wouldn't know. Not a paramedic. Oh. These guys aren't paramedics, are they? What are you doing? No wonder their job's dangerous. Like, how can you not punch them? They don't exactly do their job. At least the firefighters are useful. At least I thought so. Not sure why they're just running full speed. Oh yeah, I forgot. Number eight, I get the ammunition guy. It's kind of hard to take a nice stroll in this store without blowing this dude up. Not sure why. He's just surrounded by bombs and other weapons. I don't know if you can see that. So to say this job is dangerous is an understatement. Like, have you seen the lobbies recently? Survival at this point is impractical. In the seventh spot, we got truck drivers. You know, I feel for these guys. They're just trying to do their job. But since everybody doesn't give a f this is what happens. They're the most in the way vehicles I've ever seen. Like, I can't go anywhere without bumping in the way. Or annihilate, demolish, ruin, wreck, obliterate, crush, decimate, exterminate, destroying one of these trucks. Just I've never stolen guy. a truck before. I just ruined that guy's career. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> there you go. That was our seventh spot. Now, there's a lot of satisfying things in GTA 5. For me, this is one of them. Right outside my own nightclub, you got a bunch of people standing in line. So I tend to run them over. And who's in that line? My nightclub bouncer for our number six spot. Now, this guy gets destroyed every day, every hour, every minute, every second. One thing that I noticed is, if you shoot a missile at him, he does not flinch. Number five is our shoe store bouncer. Now, every single day I'm at the shoe store, or you're at the shoe store or someone else, because I don't do that at all or anything. This is the every day this guy has to deal with. Missiles to the head, a bat to the dome, shotgun, or some other nonsense. Yeah, safe job, my Every day every f day. Number four, we got the store clerks. You know how this goes. You're not gonna have a situation where I'm sitting here buying stuff. Then I just leave the store without doing anything. No, that's not how it works. I'm gonna do it the right way. I'm not sure how this guy can ever make a profit because this happens all the time. Like he's probably down $60,000 just working in the city alone. Here goes a family vacation. Just don't move for the- This is the most average GTA store experience. Oh shit. Number three. The Cayo Perico guards. Here you get the players that grind this heist three times a day. Because apparently this is the only way to make money. Like no other way. So the guards on this island can never catch a break. Because they gotta deal with all these players with like a 7kd plus. Mr. Try My- off and speed run this under a minute so you can imagine this job being a little unsafe at times actually all the time the valet guy at the number two spot this is one unfortunate human being. he's at the town hall of destruction he's just sitting out in the open you know vulnerable until someone in a jet kills him like that is ridiculous that should not ever happen but that's the danger of it like, you never know what's gonna happen. And I know for a fact that this guy doesn't get paid enough to put up with our nonsense. You know he's a valet guy, right? F that. No one uses the valet service. How many times do you think he gets killed a day? 
over under 487. I'm talking about GTA time too. Let me know what your guess is down below. Now for the final job. This right here is the most dangerous job. No debate, no question. It's the cops. I'm pretty sure if you did a try not to kill anyone challenge, you would still end up killing like two cops minimum. It is just something that you cannot avoid. And I see people doing five star challenges all the time, meaning they destroy cops for like an hour straight. For good reason too. The cops in this game are so annoying. Like I blow up an innocent civilian, cops are after me. Not sure why. Kind of just ruins the fun. These guys just work a nine to five getting blown up the whole time. No break. Puts a smile on my face every time.